Thank you so much for coming out today. This is a great turnout. I just hope we don't get blown away. <laughs> um, I, we really have come a long way from the winter time. A lot of you probably remember the guys camped out on High Street just a block away, right? Everybody remembers those guys? Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> So many of you here in Fort Atkinson helped go door to door collecting signatures, visibility locations in Barry Park. Um, and I just met a gentleman earlier this morning who said that he had gotten a petition on his own, uh, never really contacted the recall effort formally, but was circulating and I never even knew he was circulating till today. So thank you to everyone who helped with the recall petition drive. I've been thinking a lot lately about why we worked so hard all winter long and why we're working so hard right now, knocking on doors as Sarah was describing, making phone calls, talking to our friends and neighbors. And I think what it boils down to is that we feel like our values were attacked. This wasn't just the policy that we were talking about. It was the process that Scott Fitzgerald followed. The secrecy pledges, the improper notice for meetings, the fact that we really were deceived. Woo! All right, does, it, does that help a little bit? Okay, great. Um, I think a lot of us feel like we really were deceived. Uh, we know that Scott Fitzgerald campaigned on jobs and economic development, but what we got were uh, policies that were so divisive that they really prevented us from focusing on job creation. Instead of creating jobs, uh, he trampled our rights and polarized our state. process was an attack on our values. Our values of honesty, compassion, and fairness. And when our values are attacked, people rise up. And when people rise up, we realize we can reclaim our government. We can make a difference. Every day I'm meeting people across the district who come from all walks of life and all across the spectrum. And although they're diverse, they have one thing in common. They've made the choice to say enough is enough. This was deceit, plain and simple. We did not vote for this. We want jobs. We want health care. We want good schools for all our kids. <laughs> and most of all, we want our voices to be heard. We want our values to be respected. These values transcend party politics. They aren't Democrats' values or Republicans' values. They're the values of ordinary people like us who want a decent life for themselves and the people they love. I've enjoyed traveling around the district and hearing from you and your families and friends. And in the coming weeks and months, I hope to hear more from you about how, can we, how we can make government more efficient, how we can make it more nimble, and more responsive to the will of the people. I want to thank you all for coming out today. And I especially want to thank the volunteers who've worked so hard to bring us this far. And you did a wonderful job of pulling this event together today. Please give them a round of applause. Volunteers really are the lifeblood of this campaign, and uh, as Bob said, I'm a volunteer myself. I spend a lot of time out knocking on doors and making calls, and I really do hope that you will join our ranks. It's a lot of fun, and it, it's, doing, it's really making a difference in this campaign. Uh, this election is not about one person, and it's not about one political party. It's about the values that we all hold dear, and more importantly, it's about protecting those values for future generations. Thank you, and on Wisconsin.